With the decline and collapse of unified Egypt in the 3rd millennium BC during the 6th dynasty, what is now known as the First Intermediate Period, culture reverted to regional centers instead of the capital at Memphis. Little survives but tombs, but tombs provide enough of a vision to see the effect. Tombs of officials reverted to regional styles and were built near their homes instead of beside the pharaoh's tomb. Along with the shifting tomb styles came a widening of burial allowances. That which had been reserved for the pharaoh became more commonplace, with high officials and even commoners adopting burial practices like burial texts. All these changes portray a lack of unity at the time in Egypt. Starting in the 6th dynasty, nomarchs, Egyptian governors over provinces known as gnomes, had coffin texts like those in pyramids, spells and texts carved into tomb walls and the sarcophagi to help the dead in the afterlife and to announce what they had done in their life. Earlier such texts had only been carved into the tombs of royalty. The texts in Nomak's tombs could have been due to the rise in available scribes and the desire to mimic the pharaoh, but the texts are filled with such powerful, arrogant statements that would have angered any pharaoh, as any pharaoh would have wanted to claim the same. One text reads, I let the plow lands be inundated. Everyone had Nile water to his heart's content. Written for Keti and Nomak during the 10th dynasty, he made his claim like a pharaoh. Another would claim not to be able to be equal me in any of my feats in this million years. Only pharaohs would make such statements. Were these governors or were these kings? During the 6th dynasty, nomarchs near Thebes began to build saf tombs for themselves. Tombs that were dug into the side of mountains, with courtyards and many chambers lined together. At these tombs, the officials were buried away from Pharaoh, like how they seemed to have lived. The saf tomb builders were not the only dissident nomarchs. In Deirden, Nomarchs built Mestafa tombs in a distinct style, low blocky tombs with many integral chambers. These harken back to the past of earlier dynasties, those before the first dynasties of unified Egypt. But they had their own style. In all of these tombs, evidence has been found that Nomarchs ceased to be appointed by Pharaoh and began to pass down their positions down to their sons like kings would. One nomarch, Akhenatifi, went even further than all this. At El Molala, he had his tomb carved into a mountain that was shaped like a pyramid. About the mountain was built a court and a causeway and mortuary temple in the style of those about the pyramids. Within, he made claims of declaring wars and alliances with and against many Egyptian cities. Buried in these tombs of the 6th through 11th dynasties of Egypt are signs of a divided country. Arrogant burial texts fit for a king but written by governors. Governors passing down governorship like kings, and governors having tombs built away from kings' tombs. Normarchs seem to have been kings, and pharaoh but a title to be claimed. But as this time was rough for the monarchy and for the pharaoh and those upper ups, all dividing amongst each other. In contrast, it seems it did not affect the common people to that grave extent, beyond the fact that it seems they might have been more wealthy, as we see growth of even some of these practices of increasive burial goods in the common tombs, and even some texts in the common tombs. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. A few sources and other resources may be found in the description below.